morning. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to be answering a question that is very common for van lifers. Do we keep a home base? So my answer is yes. I do have a home base. Alright, so you don't have to watch any more of the video. That's, that's it. Alright, no, for real, I do have a home base, and I'm going to go into that in a little bit more detail on how and why and other little specifics on why I decided to keep a home base. So, first of all, a lot of people decide to move into their van, it's cheaper. And I find when I am living in the van, we spend very little money. Uh, our cost of living is much cheaper than being in a house. But my number one reason that I'm able to keep a home base is I don't have a mortgage. I've spent the last seven to ten years working on a house. So I don't have a mortgage. And maybe someday I will put together a video that shows a compilation of the last seven plus years of my life and show you what I did to build a house. Besides not having a mortgage, that means I don't really have a large cost of living. I can be traveling and it doesn't cost me any more than being sitting at home. Actually, it costs me less to be traveling because I can, uh, I just don't spend that much. I mean, I just don't. I don't use electricity, we're off grid. Uh, don't buy anything because you don't have much space. We also almost never eat out. We're able to get all of the food that we need and cook and eat healthier than we ever have before. Get tons of fresh air for free and lots of hiking. Pretty much all of our entertainment is free. Our utilities are pretty much zero. We try to stay where it's warm. Occasionally we have to use some so heat. That was a detour road that they had. So for the last seven plus years of my life, I haven't gone on any vacations, haven't spent any money besides just on building a house. And when it was finally all done, it wasn't like I wanted to sit in it and enjoy it anymore. I had been stuck in it. I had been working on it. I had been living in it. And it's finally where I kind of want to get away. I kind of wanted to, you know, not feel so isolated. Um, when people say, oh, aren't you scared being out there in your van? You should see where I live. I mean, I am isolated. I'm on a dead end gravel road. The last place on dead end gravel road up on the side of a mountain in the Ozarks where we have wild pigs. We have tons of poisonous stuff, poisonous snakes, multiple types, poisonous spiders, several types. You know, we have all kinds of stuff here, and I am in a very rural area, so stores are farther away. When I'm traveling, the stores are on my way. I plan, plan it, and I don't have to make trips into town that take me hours. A second reason that, I'm, that I decided to keep a home base is I have a child, and they need to be able to have their own space, and we can come back here, and spend time on our home base and she can do what she needs. She takes lessons and does other things. And then she gets where she feels like I'm ready to go back out there. That's probably when we get ready and go. She loves to be able to have access to the stores and the grocery stores and the food. Uh, where here we have to spend a good amount of time or all day to get to a larger city where they have more selection because our diet is a lot more specific 
and it's harder to find the foods that we need in a rural area. So my third reason on why I keep a home base is I do work in this area. I have a rental property and I want to work on getting more rental properties because that is what is going to give me income without being here. So maybe in the future I will have a chance to do a video and show you what I have been working on for the last couple months. I've been doing a house that was absolutely a disaster. So right before I leave, I want to have all my work done and have it in move-in condition. So that is off of my mind and I can start looking for another one. And it, But they don't have to be right here, but tools and other resources are here where if I do it somewhere else, I'm not going to have quite everything I need to be able to to do that. But that is a way I'm able to travel and come back here to a home base, do work for several months, and then go back out again. My last reason on why I keep a home base is I'm not quite sure of the future. Adele is 11 right now. In the future, she's probably going to want to go to high school. I haven't decided where she's going to go, but we want to keep a home base so that when she does go to school, we have an option. Either we go here or we relocate where we're closer to resources and a little bit bigger community. And uh, she goes there, but that's that's why you know I, you never know if van life is gonna be permanent or short term or long term part time full time just kind of go with the flow on it and that's what we do so I do keep a home base uh, for my and I have an adult child too so he still has stuff here and um, he's able to come here and uh, so that's that's fine. My reasons why I keep my home base and will continue to do so, uh, and it's different for everybody. Some people need to get rid of their home base because it's too expensive. And uh, I live in a rural area where uh, land and property is pretty cheap, so I'm able to keep doing what I'm doing. So that's my reasons why I keep a home base and I probably will continue to keep one and uh, it works for me. It's not going to work for everybody. Most people get out of their home base because it costs too much and they can't afford it. Uh, I made a huge sacrifice in my life to spend time to earn sweat equity on a house and now I'm rewarding myself of getting out there and seeing the rest of the world, <laughs> the rest of the United States. And actually before uh, I started van life, I had never been farther west than like Texas. Uh, I don't think I had even been into Kansas or Oklahoma, nothing. And uh, um, about two and a half years ago was the first time I went to Colorado. And uh, that, that really got me. It was really hard to come back here and I started to make it a goal that I want to be able to travel for free. I want to be able to finally reward myself of all these years of hard work working on a house and uh, be able to travel for free. I can't stay in a hotel. I uh, can't do that long term. Uh, I need to figure out how I can do that and that's, that's how van life developed. So as always, thanks for watching and make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already.